So here's an idea for those of you who want to raise better no-till corn. Run starter. I'll show you what I did on my planter. I put this stuff on here a couple years ago. I run two systems. The first one, that product is goes in furrow, goes right on top of the seed. And then I have a set of tanks on my tractor. That's where I keep the two by two. So again, I've got two sets of in <clears throat> flow indicators. One for the in furrow, and the other one for the two by two system. If you walk around to the back, you see that I've got two pumps. One on the left side is for the in furrow. One on the right is for two by two. And I've got a little bit of water in the tractor or in the, the tanks, in the tractor and on the planter. And uh, I was doing a leak check with it here just a couple minutes ago. Let me show you, let me fire it up and show you how everything works. Everything on this system is controlled right here in the cab. I've got all I have to do is turn my pumps on, and then I can turn my master switch on with my foot. Come up here on the control screen, find each controller for the pump, and I can turn it on and test for leaks by running a nozzle flow check. So I'll do this with both systems, then I'll hop out and I'll show you what's going on out there. So I've got both systems running and you can see the little red balls in the indicator indicating that I have flow in both systems. Then you can come down to the row unit and see that we have three streams of water coming out. The one there in the middle is the in furrow, goes right on top of the seed. And the one on each side is the two by two. That goes two inches to the side of each seed. That's where you want to put your nitrogen. So if we take a little closer look at each individual row unit, you can grab the gauge wheel. And these things pop up, of course, when you put the planter down in the ground. And as they do, the little knife pops out, and that's what the fluid stick or squirts out right down there at the bottom of those. I chose this design because, of, you know, as you're as you're planting along through cover crops, the the cover crop material just kind of flows across this knife. It's sort of swept back, and it doesn't bunch and ball up a bunch of cover crop material. Same story. Why I chose the closing wheels. You can kind of see the fingers on this thing are sort of swept back, and as they roll along and close the seed trench, they don't grab a bunch of cover crop material and and make a big a big mess. I've got three dositrons on the wing of my planter and uh, I decided to put those on so I could try out new and different products a little bit easier and uh, maybe run a different product on each given field without having it all mixed up with the starter itself. So all you have to do is put the product right in the white tank right from the top and the in furrow fertilizer flows through the hoses on each one and you can turn them on or off by the valve and the product in the tank gets mixed right in the mixing chamber right that little blue thing right there right below all you have to do is turn the handle on it a little bit and you can adjust the rate and it mixes in proportion the proportion of the product to the amount of uh, product that you have going through your through your hose now if I was going to choose one system didn't want to put both on my planter I would choose two by two every time if I'm on a no-till because the high carbon environment that you're no-tilling into has to be offset by a higher nitrogen rate and again you can't put nitrogen directly on the seed so run it through two by two and it'll be available when you get corn plants up about that high Oh, and by the way, there are many, many systems out there to choose from, so it's up to you to decide which one best fits your operation. Have a great day.